Hi everybody. I hope you've had a good day today. I uh, just thought I'd get on here for all my nieces and nephews and kind of bring you up to speed on what's been going going on on the hill. Uh, as you all know, I retired June 21st. Um, <clears throat> had COVID right after that, but we're all, Randy got it after I did, but we're all healthy now. And um, so I've been getting used to this new schedule and a lot of that has been working in the yard. And so I wanted to show you what we've been working on. But before I get to that, I'm sitting here in the front yard. We moved the swing out. I'll show you here in just a minute. And I'm sitting here. It's kind of, it's not sundown yet. And I hear all these nuts falling from the trees. And it, it's too many to think they're falling by themselves. And so there are squirrels right over there, up in those trees, and they are knocking down whatever nuts there are up there just like crazy. Now, I don't know if that means we're going to have kind of a bad winter. I hope it doesn't. But they are being very, very loud, and it's kind of funny. Um, I've been posting some mushroom pictures lately. I, we have had some of the most spectacular mushrooms here on the hill such a, a wide variety and i have just really enjoyed walking around and and looking at them and taking pictures of them for you guys um so let me show you what we've been working on um there was a portion of the yard that um uncle randy has to mow around and for our anniversary this year in April, he bought us two new azalea plants. And so we planted those. And when he mowed the yard, he was having to weave in and out among those and what was already there. So he had the idea of just making a little mulch island in the middle of the yard. So he could just mow in a circle and that would be that. So we have been working on that uh, last week and this week, and um, I, I think it's turned out pretty good. We put the mulch down, and I have an azalea. The azalea that, we plant, that he planted in April is called an autumn royalty, and it's blooming, and it's just been beautiful. It's a pinky color, and I've also got a uh, the dahlia that's colors are very similar I'll, I'll show you so I'm just going to walk around the yard and show you what we've been working on I'll turn the camera around and and uh, and show you so let me do that okay for those of you who know the hill this will be very familiar and you'll see here's a big get a big shot of what we did back up a little bit See, we put like an island out in the middle of the yard. And then just yesterday, we moved the swing and the chair. Now, that's not what it's going to look like when it's finished. I've got to get new cushions, and we're going to paint it. And I've got a, a metal table that I'm going to paint and put it out here, too. So that's not done, but at least it's out here, and we can enjoy sitting in the yard. So let me walk over here and show you what we have in the yard uh, the first thing is the Japanese maple. It's not been doing very well this year. I don't really know why. It could be the heat, but uh, some of the leaves look just a little bit burned. But it's hanging in there, and of course we water it. This is, the, this is one of the azaleas that Mom and Dad gave us years ago. It's, it's a little bigger th than the others. Um, that's our marble cross. There's a story behind that that I won't go into now, but there it is. Um, this is one of the new azaleas. It'll bloom next spring. And I, I did some flower pots. We had a couple of pieces of marble, so I just bought some new flowers and put those there. And this is my rock altar. Um, I'm going to have to do some work on it. I'm going to pick up the rocks and make them a little more prominent and just spruce it up a little bit. And 
as you can see, there's one of my dahlia blooms. Real pretty in pink. And I might tell you the story about the rock altar. Uh, before I do, let me let me show you why we have this rock. You see the cross right there? That was absolutely natural. And I'll tell you the story about it later. And um, so this is this is the autumn beauty. No, the autumn royalty. And it's still blooming. It's got those beautiful pink blossoms on it. So we've got that within the little island. This is my this is my hydrangea that never blooms. Um, I've had it for years. It's a beautiful ball of green, but it, it's had one bloom in its entire life. So I, I don't know what I can do about that. And then here's another little flower pot that I planted for the other piece of marble. And then, of course, we have the, the whirly gigs that Uncle Randy loves. There's a little lighthouse. Got the big whirly gig. And then I think this is a birdhouse that Ben built way back in the day. Um, so Randy put it here. It's got a little lid on it that comes. I don't think there's anything in there. Probably a Joro spider. I've been killing those things by the hundreds, it seems like. And then this is the back side with the azalea and the Japanese maple. So yeah, that's that's what we've been working on for the past week or so. Oops, that's a little bit dark. That's okay. And every evening, every morning and every evening, I walk around the yard and I take a spray can of uh, it's ant roach and spider killer with me. And I have been killing hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of those Joro spiders before they take over the property. They were so invasive last year and so gross. The webs are just, they're like string, really. And, um, and the spiders were just everywhere. And I didn't like it. So when I saw the first ones this, this summer, I started weeding them out. Now, I'm not killing the ones in the deep woods. So don't worry. There'll be enough in the deep woods to get all the bugs and stuff away, but the ones around the house, nah, nah, they're gone. So I think that's all I've got to bring you up to speed on. I've got another project in the works. I'm, um, I'm devising a plan to redo the living room. It's not been redone in a lot of years. So I'm working on that and I'll bring you up to speed on that in another video. So I guess that's all I got to share today. I love you all. I hope you had a good day and I'll talk to you again soon.